-hmm. But anyway, so um, that it's kind of um, yeah. It's kind of the obviously this is the Model Three battery here. Yeah. So well, this uh, there used to be four of them. So mm -hmm. this one here came out of this side. That mm -hmm. one, one of our customers mm -hmm. wanted it, so we sold mm -hmm. it to them. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but this thing does not come apart. Mm -hmm. You can't get any further than this. It's mm -hmm. welded. Uh, all over the place. Mm -hmm. Is it painful to cut a, cut apart a nice looking car like this? Yeah, we do it all the time. <laughs> so there's it's no. It's tougher when it's a Bentley or a oh, really? Porsche or something like that. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Today we focus on a visit we had with Sandy Monroe at Monroe and Associates at his headquarters in uh, just north of Detroit, Michigan. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Thanks once again for joining us. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a repeat visitor, welcome back. We also want to thank our Patreon supporters, and we also uh, want to encourage you to join us on Patreon for trading as well as uh, other ideas that will help you in your investing process. So today's show is a little different than our traditional, as you saw from our opening. We had a visit with Sandy Monroe at his headquarters in Detroit. I've been test driving right about cars for about 30 years and have spent a lot of time in Detroit and have developed a real respect for Sandy and the work that he does with his staff. I wanted to note that our process today is to include um, both photos we have of different parts of his facilities as well as some video that we shot with him. And this is one in a perhaps monthly series that we'll be showing that includes a different look at Monroe and Associates. Sandy has done a good job over the last year of expanding uh, his activities from simply working on cars, et cetera, to sort of building his own YouTube brand. And I thought maybe a different take on what he does would be to actually spend some time taking a look at how and what they do at their operations rather than a quick conversation that's typically the case while he's covering just one specific topic. Our topic that we will be focusing on today is the sort of tear apart of the you know, Tesla Model 3. And then we're also specifically gonna take some time to look at the super bottle with his help today as the focus of this show. So I hope you enjoy and we look forward to uh, constructive comments. It's my belief, and I actually send Sandy a few dollars a month on his Patreon page, that Sandy is one of the few people in the auto industry that theoretically could save the big three. I say that because when you land on a pla plane in the Detroit area, the air is a little bit different. The reason is that there's something called the seven to one rule, which is in the auto industry, for every job at one of the auto firms, they actually create work for as many as seven other people, be it the lawyers or the doctors or the dry cleaner or the restaurants. So the industry is very heavily tied to uh, those, the big three, and then an auto in general, even manufacturers from other places around the world, maintain their global or U.S. headquarters at that facility. So I wanted to note that I think Sandy Monroe and Monroe Associates is really a re very, very big deal because they're one of the few people that get that get paid by the big three to, in essence, tell them what they're doing wrong and how to solve those problems to do a better job. So, as you know, a lot of the shows that have been showing up are talking about the core technology that's being used by uh, all of the companies and how well it is or is not working. Um, I don't want to get into his copyrights, et cetera, but I was kind of stunned when I just saw you know, the press is fawning over the new Mus uh, EV Mustang product. And I was kind of stunned to see some of the savage comments made by uh, Sandy relative to that vehicle. But it sort of illustrates the point that 
he's not pulling any punches. And by him giving uh, honest feedback to these organizations, you, they get information that they can use to better structure themselves to win going forward. So the other clips that I want to include today include just a couple of situations where we're looking at the Model 3, and then all of a sudden, uh, Sandy actually makes a comment, well, we did kind of have those parts, but we don't have many more because they were purchased by one of our customers. This happened multiple times. I'm just going to include the quick clip a couple of times as a way to articulate how the process of his business works. So I'd have to say that I was a bit surprised when I got to their facilities because I expected just to tear down shop and then him letting his expertise to understand what the manufacturers are doing and then it'd be done. But it turns out Sandy, they actually built a golf cart that they sell. They also provide a large amount of consulting uh, to companies of all types. They also are involved in doing things with, uh, you know, sort of tear parts of irons and planes and a bunch of other things that I didn't realize that they were involved in, but it was kind of fun to get a feel for all the things that they were doing. I um, So our video this time is not of huge length, but we wanted to take some time to sort of give you a taste of what the firm looks like behind the scenes. And then from there, uh, maybe draw some conclusions. Uh, primarily the main conclusion is that brilliant guy, uh, all kinds of experience to go with brilliance as well as a really well-trained staff that actually knows what they're doing. And so what I'm going to do, as I said, is uh, include uh, a couple of clips that shows Sandy in his facilities. And then what we'll do is um, allow him to talk a little about the super bottle with an interview that he did uh, at AutoLine. And then we'll close out for this show. And then we'll come back again, uh, focusing on uh, different aspects of electric vehicles that he's carefully evaluating right now. In primary, we're going to have a show just on the battery packs and what different people are doing, as well as hap what's happening with the motors, be it Tesla and others as well in subsequent shows. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you find the information provided useful. Uh, we look forward to your comments on this. I do want to state also that uh, we're going to do our usual close out here and then we'll see how it works as we blend in uh, clips from Sandy. So some of these things are like, like very interesting. So mm -hmm. this is uh, one of the things that we like about Tesla. This mm -hmm. is called the super bottle. Mm -hmm. and there's a cool. bunch of this bottle does all the cooling for the battery. For everything. Uh, you've got a heat exchanger here for your uh, AC system. You've got a heat exchanger here for uh, the, the battery module. Everything goes through this little bottle right here. I, we were really thrilled with this. A little lever here, and, and, and uh, I can't move it right now because somebody tightened the bolt up. But anyways, it's got, it's got the ability to change. Uh, it just changes everything. Now, you were asking before, why doesn't, why don't, why don't we see, um, why don't we see the, um, the uh, guys in Detroit do things? Do you know how many different, uh, uh, how many different uh, fiefdoms you have to have in order, in order to make this happen? I mean, the engine cooling guys, oh no, you can't do that, I don't know, those are my hoses, this is my hose, and you can't have that, and this space is mine, and but, the, the arguing and bickering that goes on about cooling is just out of this world. And they took this, this crosses like uh, powertrain, HVAC, um, on and on and on. And here they've created something that this isn't the first time that we've ever talked about doing this. I mean, we've talked about it a lot. But because of the Detroit infrastructure, the way that, uh, that cars are designed, you have this. You stay out of my territory. You stay out of my territory. You can't have that if you want to try and develop something like this because it crosses too many different lines. This, I think, is really kind of cool. Now, um, um, as usual, 
Please take time to like and subscribe if you enjoy the show. Please also join us on Patreon for more uh, quality information on investing and trading with Tesla, uh, on Tesla. We also want to include our health tips. Uh, again, I'm just going to focus today on two things, but we have a whole list of other recommendations below. So today, my focus uh, is going to be, uh, number one, sleep research. Wanted to encourage you for at least two weeks to maintain the same sleep and wake schedule. And in terms of generally what time you go to bed, generally what time you wake up. If you can, don't use an alarm because this allows you your body to tell you when it wants to get up. And by getting in sync with that, you'll feel a lot better. Um, <laughs> I won't even comment on the James Brown song, get up off that thing. When you do, you'll feel better. Uh, I won't even make a comment there. I uh, also wanted to encourage you to consider health tips re regarding lovemaking. Prior to doing so, please take time to have uh, a light meal in the salad category as a way to make sure that you don't uh, uh, sort of load yourself up with food and have a whole bunch of blood flow going to your stomach because it won't be available for other parts of your body. At um, any rate, I hope you enjoy both our clips as well as our uh, screen, you know, photos of the environment. And I want to uh, finally shout out to the folks at Sandy's facilities. We bought them lunch after our meeting and really appreciated uh, the kindness to take some time out to, to meet with us. And just wanted to say keep up the good work because we want uh, all of our auto manufacturers domestically to exist and be able to provide employment. And if they don't improve what they're doing, there's a potential that they end up in bad shape. And I believe that Sandy is a key component of preventing them from going out. At any rate, this is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Thanks once again for joining us. Tschüss, German, au revoir, French, le hitro, Hebrew, choda, hafez, farsi, stars, which are Russian, ni hao ma, Chinese, kambawa, Japanese, salam, uh, Muslim also wanted to say namaste, Hindi, uh, good day, our friends from Australia. And in Jamaica, we say, enough respect, walk good man. Thanks for joining us and have a great day and bye for now.